Yo, what's up YouTube? We are back with another video. In this video, we are reviewing the Pokemon Go V Battle Deck. This one is the Meltan, uh, Melmetal, sorry, Melmetal V Battle Deck. So this is the back of it. It includes one ready to play 60 card deck, three reference cards, one rule book, single player play mat, damage counters, one me large metallic coin, one deck box, one strategy sheet, one code card for online play. That's what it includes. We'll go over it. The back says land heavy metal hits with Mel Metal V. Mel Metal V gives itself a boost of energy and then smashes into your opponents for huge damage. Call for a backup from strong attackers like Cobalion and Unpheasant. Get more energy into play with Galarian Preserker and you have Magirna to refresh your entire hand. Useful trainers like Lure Module and Egg Incubator make it easy to find Pokemon that you can set to your path of victory. Very good. I was able to get these from Cop Cards, so definitely check them out. Uh, I'll put a link in the bio, uh, in description, because we're on YouTube, description for uh, this. It is level one out of three, so it's not gonna be the most competitive deck, but we're still gonna get right into it. So we're gonna open it. I haven't opened these in a while. So I guess this just pops off. Yeah. So we open it like this. As you can see, the box is empty. And this is what we're left with. This is the inside of it. So this just folds open. Let's see what the coin is. I think this is the first time. It is a big coin. It is a Mel Metal coin. I think this is the first Mel Metal coin. Pretty cool. I don't see any scratches on it, which is good, because sometimes these coins get scratches. We then have the playmat, the paper playmat. We got Mewtwo, we got Melmetal. And then that's the playmat. You can put your active bench, discard deck, and prize cards. Pretty cool, as I have lots of nice playmats, I don't have to use that. What is this? I guess this is just like teaching you how to play. Pretty good. Uh, I already know how to play, so I don't need this. Then we have, what is this? I guess a little pamphlet explaining it. Yeah. And then we have one for the Mewtwo. So I guess I just printed one for both. That will go off to the side. We then have each code printed will unlock rewards in Pokemon Go. If you play Pokemon Go um, and these codes work, congratulations. Oh, it folds out. So they are some codes for you. And then the back is just play Pokemon Go. Pretty cool. We got the damage counters, which are paper. Might actually start using these. These are actually pretty cool. So keep that to the side. Now what's this? This might be the three reference cards. Yeah, so it just tell, talks about special condition poisoned, burn, and then what are special conditions, what you can do during your turn. Pretty good for a player like me, I don't need that. And I guess since you already saw, saw it, you guys can have the code card. This unlocks the deck on PTCGO. And this is the promo card, the big uh, beat stick in this deck. Mel Metal V, 220 HP Metal. It does have a nice Pokemon Go stamp there. I believe this is the first Mel Metal V we have. Arm Charge, you may attach a Metal Energy card from your hand to this Pokemon for 50 for two metal. And then Mega Punch 140 for three metal. In a pre-constructed deck format, like V Battle decks, this is actually pretty good. In regular competitive play, it is not that good. And then we have the deck box with the other 49 cards. So we will put the deck box to the side. And we will go through all the cards we get. So we get a bunch of metals, because you got to power up your attackers. We have a berry, draw three. Pretty basic uh, supporter card. Not seen a lot of play competitively but in this pre-constructed format, pretty good. 
We got Galarian Meowth. Unfortunately, this is the one from Fusion Strike. It's not the good one from Rebel Clash. Now we do have a new card from the Pokemon Go set, Lure Module. Each player reveals the top three cards of their deck and puts all Pokemon they find there into their hand. Then each player shuffles the other cards back into their deck. Pretty good card, more metal. We have Cobalion. Now I believe this is a hollow rare from, um, what is this, Chilling Rain? Pretty cool card, pretty good card in this pre-constructed format. We have Galarian Preserker. Call to Muster. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck. Very good in a slower format like this. We got Metal. Tranquil, this is from Pokemon Go. Evolution Incense, which is a good card. We have Great Ball. Pidove. All right, and then we have Unpheasant. So this is new from Pokemon Go. It has Gust for one colorless, it's 30, and Hurricane Wing. Flip four coins, this attack is 70 for each heads. All right, pretty decent. Bug Catcher, Great Ball, Shauna, probably the best supporter. Now we do have a new card, Egg Incubator. Flip a coin, if heads, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck, if tails, Put this egg incubator on the bottom of your deck instead of the discard pile. I don't know if the wording on this means, like let's say I play one of these, I might be able to just never deck out because I could always play one. Or maybe if I play two, I'll, I'll see the wording on that and uh, try and get a confirmation later on. Barry, Galarian Meowth, Metal, Magirna, Vivid Voltage. I believe this was a hollow, so this is a non-hollow variant. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. Pretty good. Wind up cannon, 10 damage. His attack is 20 more for each of your opponent's bunch Pokemon. All right, not bad. We have one copy of Metal Sauce, so that's going to be good. Another Lure Module. Switch, Cobalion, Magirna. Another Egg Incubator. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. I think for a level one deck, this is exactly what you should expect from it. Not the most competitive deck, but it is a deck. It does have a strategy to it, and you're probably going to have fun with it. I'm going to rate it one Big Mac out of five Big Macs, as this is generally a terrible product. I don't recommend buying this due to the fact that you're not going to get many wins if you take this to locals especially with the Shadow Rider and Ice Rider Calyrex League Battle decks coming out in a few days, I believe. There's no reason to buy these over that, as the Calyrex decks are just going to be so much better. Look out for a review once those drop, and that's going to be it. I do like the artwork on Melmetal V, I will say that. So again, one Big Mac out of five Big Macs is what I'm going to rate it. Next video, I'm going to get into the Mewtwo Pokemon Go V Battle Deck. So check out for that video. This has been Young Big Mac. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.